Let's learn about the plant cell today. The basic plant cell has a similar construction to the animal cell, but does not have centrioles, lysosomes, cilia, or flagella. A plant cell is a eukaryotic cell, meaning that it possesses a membrane-bound nucleus. Plant cells can manufacture their own food. Chlorophyll, which gives plants their green color, enables them to use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugars and carbohydrates, chemicals the cell uses for fuel. Let's take a look at 13 things that make up the cell. First, let's look at the cell wall. Like their prokaryotic ancestors, plant cells have a rigid wall surrounding the plasma membrane. It is a far more complex structure, however, and serves a variety of functions, from protecting the cell to regulating the life cycle of the plant organism. Paroxysms Microbodies are a diverse group of organelles that are found in the cytoplasm, roughly spherical and bound by a single membrane. There are several types of microbodies but paroxysms are the most common. Plasmodesmata Plasmodesmata are small tubes that connect plant cells to each other, providing living bridges between cells. Ribosomes All living cells contain ribosomes, tiny organelles composed of approximately 60% RNA and 40% protein. In eukaryotes, ribosomes are made of four strands of RNA. In prokaryotes, they consist of three strands of RNA. Vacuole each plant cell has a large, single vacuole that stores compounds, helps in plant growth, and plays an important structural role for the plant. Mitochondria Mitochondria are oblong-shaped organelles found in the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cells. In plant cells, they break down carbohydrate and sugar molecules to provide energy, particularly when light isn't available for the chloroplasts to produce energy. Microtubules these straight, hollow cylinders are found throughout the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes don't have them and carry out a variety of functions, ranging from transport to structural support. Nucleus The nucleus is a highly specialized organelle that serves as the information processing and administrative center of the cell. This organelle has two major functions, it stores the cell's hereditary material, or DNA, and it coordinates the cell's activities, which include growth intermediary metabolism, protein synthesis, and reproduction cell division. Golgi Apparatus The Golgi Apparatus is the distribution and shipping department for the cell's chemical products. It modifies proteins and fats built in the endoplasmic reticulum and prepares them for export as outside of the cell. Microfilaments Microfilaments are solid rods made of globular proteins called actin. These filaments are primarily structural in function and are an important component of the cytoskeleton. Endoplasmic reticulum The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of sacs that manufactures, processes, and transports chemical compounds for use inside and outside of the cell. It is connected to the double-layered nuclear envelope, providing a pipeline between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. In plants, the endoplasmic reticulum also connects between cells via the plasmodesmata. Chloroplasts The most important characteristic of plants is their ability to photosynthesize, in effect, to make their own food by converting light energy into chemical energy. This process is carried out in specialized organelles called chloroplasts, 